so we we already define the 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 the, the model path then based on these models we need to be defined uh, the DQ based then everybody I understand uh, if those who had uh, no experience about the database migrations tools uh, just just follow the the my previous channels I discussed the the, the data make migration possibilities with the liquid based and also the possibility with the flyway database migration how can how can you take the same database migration script uh, um, uh, with the uh, SQL based database migration script uh, from the flyway and then this the uh, can be take this the same database migration script from the uh, from for for, for liquid based database migrations and then that's why I said uh, I tried to to take the the SQL script what exactly we have it in the the, the previous uh, previous projects like this is the if you can to the previous projects we got the really exactly the same projects but it has the different how can say it has different uh, the the directory structure for the liquid uh, the flyway database migration structure if i go if i go there so it's initializing the projects let's initialize it so and exactly what we have it like exactly the same uh, informations we let's just it so then we can go there so we see the structure like that uh, we have the same projects and then same definition of the configurations and the same, same definitions and then we define the the uh, liquid uh, flyway based database migrations so it's exactly the same just it has a different how can say different uh, project type. We define the the models and then respective models we define the, our scripts, our uh, liquid based scripts and then after the the script definition and the model definition sync together then we start the, the other part of the development. So let's minimize the the script part and then so So we define the, the models, we already have it. So based on the models, we have definitions, model definitions, we, we define the define the repositories. So we have a already we have a, how many models? We have a, only three models, um, four models. So we have a user registration models, you have user details, and user registration profiles and user role models. So that means we need to be defined four repositories. What we have it, like I already defined the uh, profile three uh, repositories. So this is a role represent very straightforward repositories. We are extending the interface definition user repositories, and then it has a extend the phasing and sorting repository. You can also use the JPA repository or code repository depending. But I, I need the phasing sorting repository to to page it. Maybe because of the maybe one one page I don't like to make a thousands record into the single page. Maybe single one page maybe 20 or 30 record that's why i need to be paging and sorting repository you can control how many pages you like to load for for rendering for efficient purposes for caching purposes that's why i found the uh, use the the paging and sorting repository because the paging and sorting repository itself had all the operations you can create update delete and then the complex operation with the pagination and uh, paging and, and then also and the sorting concept sorting is together so you see that the, the model definition that we define we extend the user uh, paging and sorted repository we already use this uh, we just simply with there is no additional additional enterprise uh, interface definitions we just straightforward the just like very simple uh, default uh, standard default the ba 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 uh, basic uh, uh, user um, sorting sorting sense uh, so user user registration straightforward phasing and sorting repository and long uh, the primary primary data type long primary keys and the user profiles and even though this exactly the same things 
this is straight forward this is this the everything done by the spring boot itself so you just extend and uh, the respective repository like the code uh, repository or jpa repository or paging and sorting repository because the paging and software is, 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 is the is the extending the code repository and also it's extending code repository extending the page uh, jpa jpa repository and jpa repository extending the default spring boot repository that's that's one of the things so defining the models define the, all the repositories how many repository need because we need all this we started like three repositories to to start the application to initial release of the the versions for the end clients and we will do the deployment for 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 the applications so that means uh, then we define the repositories and after the repository definition we define the, our interfaces that we need important part so we define the how the code operations you see the create the user registrations get all the users with the feasible or uh, feasible objects and also uh, get user registra registrations update user registrations and delete user registrations so all the standard code operations with the additional information with the feasible and sortable if I go there, so you see, uh, get all the users, get all the user uh, roles, content, and then it has more, more, more definition of the of the interfaces. So we need to be implement those interfaces uh, uh, with the with the with the with the default repositories. So is our profile repositories? We have nothing here at the interface. We just implement uh, these two interfaces. We already implemented. <coughs> like user registration interface interface definition is a role definition and the de definition that i said this is the professional structure we implement the uh, the interfaces that we define so you see that we implement that we define the interfaces we implement the classes x implements the the user registration impel class so it has service annotation those are new into the annotation what is the service annotation with override annotation auto wear annotation please follow the previous my previous screencast i discussed only that's annotation meanings and definition how can you use where you can use these annotations so or you can google it to get the clear idea where and how we can use those annotations so it is a business logic service annotation means we are doing the business logic here so we we auto wear the um, auto wear the user uh, user registration repository that's we define so already in here the repository part and then inject that so we see the basic standard structures we call the repository find all with the pageable and then find all with the with the, the only the content this you see the page object is with the pageable object is with there and then it is containing the only simple you know, without any content information page informations the page itself informations and it's, we are returning the simple user registration list of objects so we get the list of object find all we get the get content so we have a more control i just here initially program the the, the 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 source code here so but i put it in the source code into the my github you can get it clear idea but you see how how how, how quick and how efficient it is to to program and maybe having more controls you have a more filter conditions you can do it here this if you structure like that way so you define the models you define the services interfaces you implement the services and then and then then after that we will define the controllers let's let's go back to that so we see the very straightforward to create the services we first is very simple the default repository save and the pass the pass the user registration objects so update we just like we we got the user find the user you see the find by id we find the user and maps and get the pass the if the user ids exist then we pass the our 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 change values our user registration object itself so it's very straightforward call and implementation of the microservice services so delete method very straightforward so as we call the uh, user registration repository find by id if it is it is get and then it's delete the repository again the call of the uh, user registration delete methods so default methods and create the response okay and the and the response entity so see they really can what we can do and it's really properly handles or properly manage the things 
So if I go to the, the user role uh, interface, uh, interface definition, you see the user role service definition is more service definitions and the implementation is there. So it, we need to be inject the user role uh, repository. We already did. We were aware the user registration repository that we need. So we just simply get or find all user roles with the visible objects. And then, and then user role with only content information, user role. Uh, get all the user role, user role by user ID, just simply user role ID, get user, this is the definition, our own definition of our services. Or you have a query denoted services, that's 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 the thing I will little bit discuss a little bit later, how can you do the modified queries or, or enterprise queries or query annotation, how you can handle, how can things, I will do the, how can you do the aggregations of uh, two tables, more tables, complex queries, I will show you later later part of the screencast how can how can write down you read this those queries create user role so you have to be the role need to be user registration id you need to be get and if you get it is a role and then create the user user roles definitions that's what i mean so save the user role very straightforward user role definitions just like very straightforward and these are the yeah, update user role you need to be passed the user registration id user role id and the user role objects and then it's a very very straightforward so you find you find the user role id if you get it then you define the change if is the value change you inject the values so it's it's depend how we program it how make a constraint or if condition even though you can write down a switch cases if is that happen if is there is no values then inject the values if is there are values then inject no, it's not 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 changing the values the update functions you can we can you can program it what you would like to do so so it's a basic delete functions and delete by rows or role delete by delete all so you can all the possibility you can do also so that that means we define the models we define the service interface we implement the service and then we need to be defined the the, the controller <coughs> the controller part so we, we we implement two services maybe we define the two controller or uh, that's that's the controller you see the controller we have two controller part so we define the really the controller package we define the two controllers user role controller user registration uh, user registration controller user role controller so that's that's the things we need to be discussed a little bit more because there is integration uh, or you how can you generate the uh, uh, generate the, the Swagger UI, the Swagger or Open API based uh, API documentation or generations. That's the thing important part. I, I will need to be clearly look on it, uh, discuss it a little bit more. But in the previous screen, kind of discussed really more detail for the for the API documentation and and document generation part. So we can also follow this the previous one. But I will I will try to summarize again here at this level. How can you integrate the Swagger and Open API UI proper documentation? That's you always show here in the in the documentation part in the Swagger UI. That's I mean. How can you do it? How can you annotate it? How can you compare those things? So <clears throat> that means we we will we'll go back uh, to the uh, to the documentation part. So. And oh no, this is we can minimize the flyway part. So let's make that easier to manage the windows. So that means we define the two controller uh, controller yeah, controller definitions to the different simple but to two controller definitions. We want to wear our services that we already know that we implement the services into the service implementation package that we define there, and we just call it and and simply do it. Let's let's continue the the controller. How can you define the Swagger UI and the controller linkings?